in Ramsgate Harbour lay some of the famous little ships. Their destination was Dunkirk, commemorating the historic voyage that some of them made 25 years ago. The 15-foot dinghy, Tamzine, which went in under fire in 1940, now, with the same motor, makes the journey in peace. What a motley fleet to help bring back a third of a million exhausted troops from bombardment by land and air. No guns will fire today, no bombs will fall. But in the mind's ear, many now setting sail will seem to hear the roar and crack that too often brought death. On the beaches, where children play today, nearly 300,000 British soldiers, with some French and Belgians, were at the end of their fighting retreat, pretty well at the end of their terror. Nobody thought that more than a fraction of them could be rescued. 25 years ago, the Dunkirk beaches seemed the most unlikely place for a near miracle. The wrecks of ships sunk then reminded the pilgrims now of 1940 when the mission of the little ships was to ferry soldiers from the beaches to the big ships anchored outside and afterwards bring back to England as many as they could carry themselves. And because of their bravery and a calm sea that was heaven sent, most of the troops came home. people ashore, as well as the pilgrims to Dunkirk, rejoiced that Britain and France and much of Europe live today in freedom because the veterans of Dunkirk, marching so proudly here, escaped the Nazi threat, reformed and years later returned to France and victory. came to drop a wreath in the harbour, a tribute from the RAF. Veterans pictured the beaches as they were when the Germans were so menacingly near. The sands were red with blood when they saw them last. When the troops landed in England, they said, we shall go back. That was made possible by the sacrifice of those who fell, the little ships and the miracle of Dunkirk.